Hello boys and girls, welcome to Jabu Lani's Playhouse. I'm Jabu and I'm Lani. And what do we have today, Jabu? Well, for the boys and girls, we've got Play-Doh, Disguise Lab. This is from Despicable Me with the Minions. Yay, we love the Minions. They're super diabolical, aren't they? They sure are. They're very funny, uh, evil henchmen, although not that evil really, are they? No, Jabu, they're more funny than evil, that's for sure. Shall we take a look at it? I think we should. Let's take a look. Okay, here's an overview as you can see and we ca it comes with two little minions and we think the purple guy is the evil Ken Kevin and uh, we think this guy is Lance though it's not 100% certain we wonder what boys and girls at home think hey that's right Jabu be interested to know who they think the minions are right exactly so this is the Play-Doh disguise lab ages 3 plus and it comes with four different tubs of of modeling clay play-doh right we've got a yellow one orange purple and blue and all look at all these different things you can do hey a lot of fun here and it does need adult assemblies required so you need your mommies and daddies to come and help right that's right Jabu and this guy could be Stuart I wonder hey I think so the skies lab play-doh despicable me this is minion made <laughs> that sounds like a play on Union Made, right? Sure it does, Lani. Disguise Lab. Look at all the crazy hair we can give them, hey? There's going to be fun. Sure will. Here's just a little bit of information about it. So obviously we don't eat the Play-Doh, right? Not intended to be eaten. Contents a playset, unassembled, two accessories, and four cans of Play Doh brand modeling compound, no expiry date. Though it does get a bit crumbly and dry if you leave it out too long, right? That's right, Jabu. But then you can also put it in, you can also just spritz it with a little bit of water, right? And it'll come back. That's right, it does help. There's the contents. Got the disguised lab chair. Scissors, a comb, Kevin, I think, and Lance, and then the four modeling tubs of clay, right? That's right, Jabu. Let's take a look at the back, an overview of the back. You can see how they've been done up, the crazy hair they got, and Kevin's got a tie on. He <laughs> Lance has a has like a. Uh, um, a maid dress on a uniform, hey? I know, that's hilarious. Take a close up look. Creatable, colorful, makeable fun with despicable me, minion maid. That's right, Jabu. And you can go visit the minions at despicable.me, right? That's right. That's right, Lani. And also, there's going to be a new movie anytime now with just minions in it. I think it's called Just Minions, right? That's right, Jabu. Let's open it up, shall we? Good idea. Okay, we use our trusty little knife here. Of course, boys and girls only use this for mommies and daddies supervision, right? That's right, Jabu. Aha, there's instructions there. See? That's how to put the chair together and slide the minion inside it. There you go. Cool. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. There's our modeling tubs. There's all our goodies. Now it's empty. Okay. Let's see if we remember the instructions here, Lani. That's right, Jabu. Let's see if we can do it. Here's the chair. Play-Doh on it, you can see. And here's the stand, all the different things you can make, the tie and stuff. There's the banana. Minions, as some of the boys and girls probably know, have been around since the beginning of time, Lani. Isn't that right, Jabu? It sure is. And uh, they develop from single-cell yellow organisms into these evil diabolical beings who, uh, who have an 
unquenchable craving for fruit, especially apples and bananas, and especially bananas. <laughs> I know, Jabba, that's crazy. We love bananas too, don't we? We do. Bananas and apples are some of our favorite fruit too. They sure are. Take a close-up of these guys in a moment. And of course the minions, their, their purpose in life is to serve the most evil, despicable monsters that they can find, right? That's right, Jabo. Except in the movie, without giving too much away, they've destroyed all their, all their evil masters and that's why they get sad and they need to find someone else to serve, right? That's right. So there's the uh, different Play-Doh colors. We've got an orange one, yellow, blue, and purple. Let's take a closer look at Lance here. At least this is who we think this is. Cool head. Right? Very well done, isn't it? Sure is, Jabu. He's going to have crazy hair, hey? He is. I know. And he has Kevin. At least we believe this is Kevin. Sometimes it's hard to tell because they look pretty similar. <laughs> look at him dragging his hands along here. Eh? Yeah, that's hilarious. Because he's a monster. He's an evil minion, right? That's right. Cool. Okay. Do we have a look at this? Scissors. Cool. I mean, that's the comb, and here's the scissors. Do fun stuff with it. Okay. Now we got to put... Which way this goes in here, I think. Nope. Nope, wrong way. It goes in... Aha, like that. See how it fits in? Just push it in through there. And clip it around so it's stable. And then this chair goes on top. Because that pushes up the... Maybe it goes, maybe this is the front way. Let's try this way. Yeah, I think that's the front way. Except, in the picture here, you can see that the the front is this one, the moustache and the tie. Because if you put the fellow in here like so, Lani, and then you push him down, aha, there he sits properly now. And that'll push out all his hair, right? That's right, it will, Jabu. Shall we try it? I think so. Let's give him, how about a uh, yellow? And blue hair. Let's see if we can do that, hey? Let's see if we can do yellow and blue hair. Take off a chunk of this. So there's some yellow for the hair. Take a chunk of the blue. Squash it up together like so. Let's see how this works. Okay. And I think put this up in here like so. Right up into the top. Push it down best we can. So, boys and girls, it's not coming out yet. Push it a little bit more. Try to flatten it out there. So that's easy to spread out. Let's see if we can get him two-toned hair. Hee <laughs> hee, that's hilarious. I know. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how this works. Ready, set, go. Hee <laughs> hee, there's his hair, Jabo. It looks crazy. Mm -hmm. That's fun, hey? And then we can take his hair, we can give him a side parting, like he usually likes it, right? 
That's right, Jabu. Make him look nice and handsome. <laughs> That's right, Lani. Whoopsies. Be gentle. There we go. Do you know what would be fun? What's that, Jabu? What if we... What if we gave Lance purple hair? Because purple hair for the for the evil minion, right? But what if we gave Lance purple hair instead? That would be crazy, Jabu. Yeah, we don't have to follow the instructions exactly like they've done it, right? Because you can see on the box, as you remember earlier, they gave him, they gave Kevin here the purple hair because that's what the color of the hair that Kevin got in the movie, right? When he became an evil minion. That's right, Jabu. But we can give Lance purple hair and mix it up, right? Yeah, why not? Let's just have some fun with it. So let's give him a chunk of purple there. Maybe take a bit more. Okay. Put that in there. Gonna squash it up. Squash it up around. Just kind of flat around there. Let's see how this works for Lance with purple hair. Hee <laughs> hee, Jabba, we've been silly. I know, but it's fun, isn't it? Okay, ready, set, go. Hee <laughs> hee. Lance has got purple hair. I know, that's crazy. Maybe he's half changing into an evil minion, eh? That's right, we could pretend, Jabo. Why not? Okay. All right, and let's take the orange. Let's make a make a little orange mustache for him. How about that? I like that, Jabu. That sounds great. Okay, let's see how it turns out. There it is. Fun, hey? We might have to use our Trusty knife. Just to cut the moustache out of the thing here. Let's see how that works. Okay. Let's give him take him out gently, we don't lose his hair. Let's put on the mustache. Mm hmm. It's kind of silly, doesn't it? Sure does, Jabu. Okay. Let's see if we can do a tie here for. Let's do the yellow tie like they've done. Give Kevin the yellow, the yellow tie, hey? That's right, Jabu. Go. There's the tie, as you can see. Should really do this on some sort of a a board, right? So that we don't wreck our tablecloth, right, Lani? That's right, Jabu, but we're trying to be careful. 
yeah, we've got to be careful. But for the boys and girls, we recommend doing this on a on a board instead, so that don't damage anything, right? Exactly, Jabu. Okay. So there's a tie. Can have a look at it. Let's put some blue stripes in it, hey? That sounds great, Jabu. Oh, we got a small piece of blue here. Some blue here too. There we go. There's Kevin wearing a blue tie or a yellow tie with blue stripes to match his hair, right? Yeah, <laughs> Jabo, that's right. That's funny. Cool. All right, and there was a banana here. These guys want a banana, I'm sure, right? Um, num 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 num. So there's the banana. There we go. See the banana? And I take it off gently. Little banana. And I think Kevin got the banana in his pocket, right? There's his banana. Yay, Jabo! Cool. Of course, boys and girls, if you have a lot of time, you can make all sorts of different things with Play-Doh, right? That's right, Jabo. We're just doing a few quick things to show you how it works. But if you have lots of time, then you can play with it. You can do really nice things like they're down in the box, make the different multicolored ties and stuff like that, right? Exactly. Okay. Here's that little part of the uniform that um, I think it was Lance is wearing. So let's try and do this a little bit too. See if we can do that. Play-Doh is quite easy and a lot of fun, isn't it? Sure is, Jabu. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here we go. Wow, doesn't that look good, hey? It looks terrific. Okay, we'll just gently take it out. And of course, they put a little orange part in there too. We could do that. Take a little piece of the orange. Just a small piece. Then we could just Spread it. Like so. And then using a little knife or something, you could make it the right size, right? That's right, Jabu. So this is where you need some tools to help. You don't even need a sharp knife, just a little plastic knife would work, wouldn't it? It sure would, Jabu. Okay, you could put that piece over there. You could just cut it to fit right. And that's how you make, uh, that's how you add the different colors to it. You could do the same with a little the little bow tie there, we could put that as a different color, right? We sure could, Jabu, be a lot of fun. Okay, let's see what else we got here. We've also got this little piece, which we haven't done yet. Let's do that in blue. Put that up in there, the mustache over here. Just need another little piece of this. Don't need it too big. I think this sort of a size would be good. Let's see if that'll work. Mm. 
Yeah, this will be perfect. Okay, let's see if we can get it out here. There we go. That look good, eh? The terrific devil. Yeah, I just gotta take just gotta take care with it. You can do all these wonderful things, right? Let's put this over here for now. So we're still going to use this piece here. So we could make a tri or, or I should say a bicolored feather duster. We could put that there. Maybe we could put a little piece of orange in here as well, up next to it, like that. And then maybe what about yellow feathers? Take a chunk of the yellow piece put that over here then maybe we could squash this all down see if we could get a now it'll be tricolored i guess whoops feather duster right lani that's what we're doing jabu okay all right get this out carefully. Guess not, so now we have to bang it out probably, so let's take this off carefully. There we go. Here it comes. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yeah, it did. See, we've got the tri-colored little duster, right? Looks good, doesn't it? Looks terrific, Jabo. It's not yeah, it's better. Wow, great detail too, hey? You betcha. Okay. That looked out, turned out pretty good. All right. So there are the different things you can do with it, right? That's right, Jabu. It's a lot of fun here, playing with Play-Doh. It sure is. It is a lot of fun. There's a the outfit, the moustache. I'll put him back where he was. There's Lance. Kevin, we changed their hair around, didn't we, Lani? We sure did, Jabu. Okay, let's see what what happens when we cut with the scissors, because we haven't done the scissors yet, right? Gives it a neat look, doesn't it? Hey, okay. kind of interesting. So lots of lots of different things you can do. You play with with your play-doh and have lots of fun with all these different things. And you can, of course, create your own pieces, whatever you want, right? That's right, Jabu. Yay, Jabu, that was super fun, wasn't it? It sure was. We always like Play-Doh, and this one has come with four different tubes of colored Play-Doh, which is terrific modeling clay, and we haven't seen that before, have we? No, I think the ones we've had before only come with three tubes, right? Exactly. Three types of uh, modeling clay by Play-Doh. It's a lot of fun, different colors, and of course, being with the minions, Despicable Me is fantastic, eh? Sure is, especially having Kevin and Lance here too, right? Giving them crazy hair, it's a lot of fun. I know it is. Well, boys and girls, hope you're having fun with Play-Doh. And remember, you can build whatever you want with Play-Doh. These are just some of the instructions we showed you quickly with this particular set. But of course, only your imagination is your limit, right? 
That's right, boys and girls. So let your imagination soar, right? And become creative, because we're all very creative, aren't we? We sure are if we just let ourselves imagine and dream. Until tomorrow, boys and girls, thanks for joining us. We'd love to have you here. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.